How you doing? So spring cleaning should be coming this week. And it looks like it's been confirmed by Kabam. It's going to be starting at April 26. So this is really a good topic to talk about. Should you stop ranking five stars in the game? And uh, let's start with the easy ones first. Okay, because that's a very tough question for, for a lot of people. So if you're Valiant, you should not be ranking up 5 stars. I just don't see the reason why you should be ranking up 5 stars if you're Valiant. You know, I mean, if you're Valiant, that means you're either a whale or you, you play the game at least 3 hours a day if you're a pre-to-play player. So I just don't see the point of ranking 5 stars. Uh, if you're Valiant, do you still rank five stars? I mean, I I don't I don't know I don't I don't see why though. And as well as um, if you're uh, like Cavalier, should you be ranking five stars? Yes, yeah, sh you, you should be ranking five stars if you're Cavalier. You're trying to complete Act Six. So now the hard part, right? If you're a Thronebreaker and Paragon, should you be ranking five stars? Okay. I do believe if you're Paragon, you know, you should be ranking more focus on your six stars than your five stars. I really don't see that, you know, it's okay to rank up five stars. But if you're Paragon, like me, um, I think you should be ranking six stars over your five stars. If you disagree, let me know why. So, it also depends on the, you know, on you. Where, where you are in the game, you know, if you're new to the game, just start a new account, you know, even your four stars, I would be ranking them. I don't really see the point of ranking three stars in the game, but if you're, rank, you know, new to the game, you know, even your four stars, you should be ranking them, but, you know, but talk about, this is really mostly for Paragon and Thronebreakers, which I do think most of the people that are playing MCC are currently. At least the ones that are, that are active that are playing MCOC. So the reason why I brought this up is I already got Morbius in the first round in the arena. But I only got the three star. Where is he at? There he is. So I already took him to max rank, max sig. So... I'm definitely going to try to get at least the 4 star on the second round. I really want to get the 5 star in the arena. You know, I really don't mind. Personally, for me, uh, I, I wouldn't mind getting the 6 star for Morbius in the arena. I wouldn't mind at all getting the 6 star Morbius. But I would... I would be okay with the five star. So why is that? Because uh, first for me, like somebody who's heavy on ranking up champions for incursion, for mostly incursions, I really don't mind. I don't really care as far as, uh, as, far as rewards go. So if you don't really care about rewards like me, I'm okay with the five star because they're easier to max sig. They're easier to rank up to rank five, you know. If, if you told me like a rank 5 5 star is, is uh, it, you know, if it were like a unit price or something, like they're both like a thousand units or something, to rank 5 a 5 star and rank 5 a 6 star, of course I'm going to go rank a 5, uh, rank 5 a 6 star over the 5 star. But in terms of like easier, easier wise, it's much easier to rank 5 a 5 star than a 6 star. It's also easier to max sig a five star than a six star. That's why I, I don't mind ranking up the five star over the six star, especially if you're heavily in incursion where you want Morbius to be, Morbius to be awakened and even preferably at max sig. So you will see some Morbius gameplay. I already have some gameplay with the three star. Hopefully I can get at least a four star, you know, but hoping that I'm, uh, at least I get the five star as well. I'm gonna put up at least ten million for five star Morbius. Uh, after seeing result arena number one round one, doesn't look too good. So ten million might not get the 
you know, the five star Morbius. But we'll see what happens. And I'll just have to play with the four star and go to sector one. And for fun, really, I don't really care about rewards. So I don't mind going to sector one, even sector two with four star Morbius to see what he can do, his, what his potential is. So yeah, so should you be ranking up again, five stars? That's really, if you're Valiant, there's just no point of ranking up five star if you're Valiant. And I, in when, uh, what do you call this? July 4th comes, comes up. We're going to be talking about should you be ranking six stars for Valiant players. But really, right now, I don't see the point for uh, Valiant players for spring, spring cleaning to be ranking up five stars. You know, and if you're Paragon, I would say I would focus more on your six stars than your five stars. I really don't see the point of ranking five stars, especially if you're a hardcore player. You know, but for me, like I mentioned, I'm a casual player that don't care about rewards and focus on incursions so it doesn't really matter so i guess it depends but if you're uh but for most people if you're paragon you should be ranking your six stars more and if you're valiant if you're valiant i don't even see the point at, at all to ranking up five stars in the game so that's it that's my opinion what do you guys think should you still be ranking up five star for your current progression level let me know